Do you think that after the decision, those safeguards have been put in place? Well, I wouldn't be able to say straight because, let's face it, I'm retired. Yeah. But in so far as I know, both the government and the Chamber of uh, Mines of the Philippines are seeing to it that the uh, errors of the past are not repeated, mm -hmm. that ecological issues are addressed, mm -hmm. that environmental issues are, are addressed, as well as the plight of the common people who reside in the mining areas. You know, that was, at the time, a pretty controversial decision. And, yes. and um, I, I understand now where you're coming from. But that wasn't the only controversial decision under your, under your stewardship. Well, I was let not me, Chief Justice at that time, Ricky. Uh, yes, yes, yes. But I mean, th that you were involved in. Let me, yes. Let's put it that way. There's plenty of uh, controversial decisions. Many of them, I was a minority in the beginning. Yeah. For instance, in the Coconut Levy case. Yeah. Uh, that was not assigned to me as ponente, yeah. but I was a dissenter. Yeah. But finally, during the voting, I won. Mm. So I said that coconut levy funds were public funds, and therefore uh, the properties or shares of stock purchased with coconut levy funds belong, prima facie, belong to mm. the government. One other controversial decision, and you were not uh, chief at the time, yes. was the decision um, on constructive resignation, which basically um, legitimized the revolt of 2001. Yes. Um, where were you on that? Remind us. <laughs> well, I was not in on that because uh, Chief Justice Davide and I uh, recused ourselves on the petition of the lawyers of President Estrada. Yeah. That's why the decision in that case was 13 to 0. Chief Justice Davide, who yeah. was head still at that time, and I recused ourselves upon petition of the lawyers of, mm. uh, uh, of uh, Estrada. Mr. Estrada. Yeah. So up to now, Chief Justice Davide and I don't have any formal position on that, on that issue of whether uh, Estrada was uh, legitimately ousted yeah. and whether the president was at that time, a regular president or merely an acting president. Do you prefer not to have a position on that right now? Well, I will tell you when you get my book. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll I'm do writing uh, my book on that. Yes, and I understand that this is going to be a very interesting memoir. You, you will uh, talk about certain things that perhaps yes. um, you didn't feel free to previously. Yes, I, uh, I think that there is need to understand better the judicial process. Mm. and. Uh, for the sake of posterity, I will preserve those. Yeah. I'll, I probably uh, get that book so that it does not anymore affect people who may have been involved. I see. Well, I'm not going to try to force anything out of you, but you must note that uh, in, in the defense of President Estrada, yes. they did keep citing one of the books that you had written ah, yes. about how you had decided to swear in uh, yes. President Royal before, yes. before noon. Yes. And uh, they keep citing that, though. Well, without, without venturing an opinion, how do you feel yes. that your name, that your book was is being yes, cited that, in that way? There, many of the friends of President Estrada were citing the book "Reforming the Judiciary" yeah. as authority to show that allegedly uh, the Constitution was not used in that decision, uh, but only uh, the Bible, because I said that before Chief Justice Davide did anything in the day, he woke up early in the morning. Every day, about 3.30 in the morning, yeah. he would first open his Bible. He just opens it uh, randomly and reads and reflects on what the page or the pages that he has read meant for mm, him. Mm. So he would uh, reflect, discern what the Lord was trying to tell him. In my case, I did not open the Bible randomly. I would read, as a Catholic, I would read the readings for the Mass for the day, early also in the morning, about 5.30, not as early as Chief Justice Davide. And I would also reflect on what happens. But in the case of Chief Justice Davide, he opened the Bible randomly. And according to the um, critics of both Chief, Chief Justice Davide and myself, we use the Bible in justifying our decision. Mm. As I said, we didn't even participate in the decision. Right. In my case, I proposed to Chief Justice Davide that Mrs. Arroyo be um, already sworn into office at that time because, if you'll remember, Ricky, that was the Saturday 
of EDSA 2. Mm -hmm. EDSA 2 began on a Tuesday when the prosecutors walked out. Yes. And it continued on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. On uh, Friday, I think, the armed forces and the police, the armed forces led by then General Reyes, Angie Reyes. Reyes, said that they would not follow President Estrada anymore. The cabinet also, most of the members of the cabinet resigned. So in the morning of Saturday, I woke up about 4.30 in the morning, and uh, I switched on television, and I saw a panel saying, we will march to uh, the palace and drive out President Estrada. I thought that if they did that, there will be bloodshed. At the same time, he cannot stop it because he, the armed forces and the police already said we will not follow him. Mm. Also, the vice president mm. could not do that legally mm. because the vice president could not make any orders to the police or the military. So I said it might be better to swear in Mrs. Arroyo as acting president. Mm. So I called up Chief Justice Davide and I said, you know, Chief Justice, you're probably the most trusted person in the Philippines. Well, he was at that time, remember, presiding over the, yeah, the, impeachment, trial. the impeachment trial. And the survey showed that he was trusted, trusted by our people. Yeah. I said, to save the Constitution, to save our country, and to avoid bloodshed, I think you better swear in mm. uh, GMA as acting president. Mm. Well, he said, OK, uh, I will do that. But he said, let's go to the Supreme Court office. That was a Saturday. So we went to the Supreme Court office and said, you make the announcement. So I called up the stations, mm. and I said that the Chief Justice was ready to swear in GMA as acting president. Mm. Uh, some of the justices learned about it, and they said, what's going on? And so we called them to the Supreme Court. And there was that uh, agreement to go to, the, to, Ed, to EDSA shrine right. for the Chief Justice to swear in GMA. Mm. Now. Uh, there was an ABS-CBN uh, interview, so, I mean, an ambush interview of Chief Justice Davide. Uh, yeah. As he was going down the stairway, you That's remember, right. yeah. Ricky? Yeah. And he was asked, what are you going to do, Chief Justice? He said, we're going to EDSA to swear in Vice President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo as acting president. That was the last heard from Chief Justice Davide. And, yeah. and uh, GMA was sworn in. Yeah. And uh, the issue came up, was the swearing in as regular president or acting president? That was the case filed by President Estrada. Yeah. And during that case, uh, delivery or no, during the oral argument, uh, there was a motion by the counsel of Estrada to inhibit Chief Justice Davide and myself. Which you the, did. Which we did. So, Out of delicadeza. Yes, out of delicadeza. In, in fairness to them, they said we have prejudged the issue yeah. because Chief Justice Davidis swore in yeah. GMA, and I was the one who made the announcement. Yeah. And in fact, I was the one who convinced him to swear in yeah. GMA. So we did not participate in the decision. It was so Justice you, Puno, now Chief Justice, yes. who wrote that decision on constructive resignation. And he'll ultimately have to explain that at some point in his life. <laughs> well, the decision ex explains itself, actually. Yeah. Well, I suppose there's more to that than, than just what you're saying, and I suppose we'll have to wait for a while before we actually know the whole story. Uh, I hope to read about that in your book. <laughs> but uh, yes. we're going to take a break, and then we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, your term as Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. The big picture will return in a moment.